Tuesday, and this could be the end of an era. Mm -hmm. Here's what's going on for a March the 7th. A lot of ending news. Alec Baldwin says he might give up his Trump impersonation on SNL. Now, here's the thing, Alec. There were actors who would give eye teeth to play a character for four years. I mean, think about it. That's kind of the run you got here, buddy. Four years of portraying this character. I understand you don't want to be typecast. Come on, man. It's funny. Just like, let it happen. All right. Uh, Tom Hiddleston is also in the same vein saying, you know what? I can't play Loki forever. Except you could. I mean, there's that. <laughs> But he's also getting testy over questions regarding Taylor Swift. I mean, he's coming out and quote, what should I regret? Well, the thing is, is Tom, nothing. You shouldn't regret anything. It was what it was. It was a fun run, but maybe it's just too soon to be asking questions about the whole um, Hiddle Swift. I think that was the nickname, but you know, hey, it is what it was. Um, Russia is banning kids from seeing Beauty and the Beast due to a gay character. Now, Russia's not alone in this, by the way. Uh, there was a movie theater in Alabama, I think, that said, we're not going to do this because of a gay character. Listen, here's the thing, man. That, that's too much work. <laughs> okay? Like, seriously. Let people... People are going to see it regardless, okay? Whether you ban it or not. That's just adding to the allure, all right? And plus, if, if you got that much time on your hands, maybe you should find a hobby. I mean, really. Seriously. It's, it's enough. Like, just stop. It's enough. Um... Speaking of stop, and it's enough, the Beehive is mad at Emma Watson for her Vanity Fair cover, essentially, because Emma Watson coming out and saying, I was doing this, and I'm a feminist, and it's, uh, you know, and Beehive is saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, you can't have sexuality and feminism mashed together, and the, the Beehive is like, wait, didn't you say that about you know, uh, Beyonce's new album and this, that, and the other. So uh, this whole, like, maelstrom happening between Beehive and Emma Watson. And the thing is, is, like, listen, it, the, the Vanity Fair cover is what it was. I mean, Emma Watson looks gorgeous in it. What? You know, it, she's she's great. That's what she wanted to do, okay? She had a hand in this, all right? If she didn't want to dress like that or not dress like that, then that was her call, you know? So I think, um, again... We might have too much time on our hands. Maybe it's time to find a hobby. Anyway, speaking of hobbies like texting and the misadventures of texting, uh, we're going to jump into Random Text Tuesday. Plus, I've got your Dub Car Show tickets inside the 4Play at 4. And uh, that's it. Okay, we'll have some fun today, all right? And maybe uh, we'll find hobbies together so that way we're not hating as much, all right? That's what's going on on Tuesday.